What were you doing when you found out you were nominated? I was in my dorm room in, at the New England Conservatory of Music in Boston, and I, uh, I was on my computer probably doing homework, <laughs> and I got a text from Donica Christensen, the publicist at, at Sugar Hill, and just saying, congratulations on your Grammy nomination. <laughs> And at that point, I was like, what? <laughs> so excited. And then soon after that, more calls and, and texts started coming in. And everyone came into my room. And it was just very exciting. I called my parents and a bunch of friends. It was one of the happiest moments of my life, for sure. Yeah. Did you get the homework assignment done? Or? I, I, I think I did. <laughs> I may have finished it the next morning. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you had a good excuse if you didn't. You know. <laughs> Who was the first person you told? Um, I guess the first person I told was um, my roommate. She was there with me. Her name's Julia. And then right after that, I, I called my parents. <laughs> Were you surprised? I was definitely surprised. I had no idea that it was going to happen. So um, it was definitely a thrilling moment because of the fact that there was no fore forewarning. <laughs> it is the uh, instrumental country album, is that generally a place where bluegrass people are nominated? or? Because Bluegrass has their own nomination. Right, right. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. I would have to go back and look at the p artists. I know that um, the Green Cards who were nominated in the same category this year were nominated for the same thing last year. So, And they've come from a, from a Bluegrass background. Um, but I also, it's also cool for me because I do consider my music sort of not, not really Bluegrass, sort of branching out into other other genres, maybe not even classifiable, but um, so it's cool for me to be in that category. Um, who's your date for the show? My date is my dad, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> He's very excited about being here. And my mom will be watching from, from home in Texas. You said this is your first time in LA. What do you think about the experience? Uh, it's great. I'm, I don't have to put on a big jacket and scarf to go outside, <laughs> and that's definitely a treat. And I, hopefully later today I'll get to explore a little more. Does being nominated change you at all? I think, if anything, it's, it's just in, inspired me to want to wanna go on to the next thing and try to try to just top what I did last time. It's, it's really inspiring. I, I guess for some people they could look at it as, well, this is the best thing that's, that's ever happened. And, and it really is such a great, great accomplishment for me. Um, but also at the same time, it just makes me want to work even harder. Here's a big question. Why do you deserve to win? Oh gosh, <laughs> that is a big question. Um, well, of course I'd love to win. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I've just, I, music's what I love, and I've, I've been working really hard at this for the past 10 years or so. It's really what I'm passionate about. But, but at the same time, I also know that the rest of the people in the category are amazing musicians as well. I'm, I've been friends with the Green Cards since I was really young, starting out with music, and they've been amazing mentors to me. So, you know, I, I think that anyone who wins would be very deserving of it. But, of course, I'd, I would love to win. <laughs> Are there any standout misses from this year's nominations? Albums that you really felt should have been there, but? Um, well, I, I guess, um, time, I don't know, time-wise, I think some of the things may just have not, some things that I would want nominated or would be for next year. <laughs> um, I guess one in particular would be the Dave Rawlings Machine album, but I think that came out after the, the time date. But I mean, I think, I think there's some great, great nominees up, up this year. If it were up to you, who would you like to see host the Grammys? Oh goodness, who would I like to see host the Grammys? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think I think it'd be funny if someone like Woody Allen hosted the Grammys. <laughs> what category would, like, would you like to see added? Uh, well, I I know the new category this year, the Best Americana Album. I think it is. Um, came out and I think that was that was a really good category to add. Um, I don't know, I'd have to think about that. I do, I do think things along the lines of Americana are definitely needed in, in the Grammys, so. Your favorite Grammy moment from years past? Oh goodness, there are so many. I do have to say that last year's um, the Radiohead performance with the USC marching band mm -hmm. was 
totally awesome. I just thought that was so cool. <laughs>